The next chapter in the Cisco Academy is on the application layer. And it's the application layer at the TCP IP model. So it refers to the application, presentation, and session layers in the OSI model, layers five, six, and seven. So what happens at the application layer and in layers five, six, and seven? So at the top layer, layer seven, we've got the applications and services that interface with the end user. At the presentation layer, it's about how the data is being presented or translated. It's how the data is formatted, encoded or encrypted, compressed, and then presented to the user. And it can be decompressed, basically decrypted, things like that. And then at the session layer, we're talking about establishing, maintaining, and terminating sessions between the end user application processes. Now the key thing to remember here is, this is not about the connection at the transport layer with TCP. This is basically the end user application, the program like the web browser or the FTP client establishing, maintaining, and terminating the session at the application layer. So in other words, we're talking here about the application is doing this. Okay, so if we look at this next slide, you can see here that the important point is, is that at this, at this layer, at the application layer, we're talking about data, user data. Now the presentation layer will then encode that user data. So it's encoded into a different format. And then how this data is then sent is through a connection to an application on the other end. So oftentimes, when we're talking about these types of connections across a network, it's a client server connection. So there's going to be a client application like a web browser and then a server application like a web server. And so the sessions here at the application layer is how is that session, how is that one application talking to the other application? So what are the protocols? Well, we've got HTTP, um, a web browser and a web server an FTP, FTP client, FTP server, DNS, DNS client, DNS server, uh, Telnet, SSH, network file system, you've got network time protocol, mail, SMTP, sending email, DHCP services, DHCP server, DHCP client. You have NetConf, which allows you to remotely manage networking devices um, using like Python. You have RDP, remote desktop protocol, and SMB, um, server message block, or Samba. So this would be um, file sharing, basically, or, or file services, file sharing over a network. At the presentation layer, we're talking about the different, how data can be presented. So in email, MIME types allow different file types to be sent across email. ASCII text, uh, pretty good privacy, encrypted, uh, used oftentimes with uh, email encryption. Transport layer security and secure socket layer for um, setting up uh, secure connections, encrypted connections. XML or JSON is a format that the data can take, um, basically a markup language for what's used oftentimes with data serialization. So basically serializing that text into a different format, like XML format or JSON format. Uh, you have gzip, which can compress the data, which is often used in sending or uh, requesting web pages in a compressed format, which will speed up the process of basically um, surfing your web pages. Um, gzip or deflate are often called out as two compression schemes used in HTTP. Um, and then at the session layer, we're talking about remote procedure calls. So the ability to, um, at the application layer, to have function calls like Windows library calls will allow you to execute a process on a remote server from a client. You have named pipes, which can be used to send basically data to a named pipe, which then facilitates communication between, let's say, a client and a server. You have NetBIOS, uh, Windows naming, Windows file sharing. Um, which is an older protocol. Um, RTP, real-time transfer protocol, which is used in, I believe, uh, streaming video, um, uh, streaming services. 
Um, and SOX proxy server, which also is a proxy server that facilitates a communication from a client and a server. So um, setting up those sessions. In other words, these are maybe like the function calls that help us to establish, maintain, and then tear down or terminate that session. And these are some of the protocols that would operate and um, technologies that operate at these three layers. Now, if we wanted to kind of see this in action, we could look at like a HTTP request and an FTP request from an FTP client to an FTP server. And I have a Wireshark packet capture showing that. So I'll bring that up here. So you have here a request. This is to an anonymous um, FTP server. And you can kind of see here the connection being established, user anonymous, and the response anonymous access allowed right here. And then the password sent, basically, anonymous password is basically no password, and then the response user logged in. So this is establishing that session. Then you have certain things that are um, how the data is going to be presented, like um, asking what are the extended features that are supported at the FTP server, and then responding with, well, language English, authentication, TLS, uh, transport layer security, SSL. Um, you can see here the, um, what else here? Um, the type of data, so the request for what is the uh, type of data and t uh, at requesting type one. So this would be binary data transfer. So the data is gonna be in a byte for byte format, which is oftentimes used with sending things like image files, but this is a, a binary data type. So this is setting the presentation layer. What kind of, how is the data gonna be, how is it gonna be sent? How is it gonna be um, sent and presented? And then if we look here, these are application layer functions. So we want to have passive mode, which is part of the session. Um, list the files in the, in the directory. Um, print the working directory. These are all application layer commands. These are FTP commands that are being executed. So this is all the application layer. And then you have something like right here, a message like this that says transfer complete, right? part of the session layer, okay? Um, if we look at another type of connection, let's say an HTTP connection, so this is a Wireshark packet capture of an HTTP con connection, you can see here right at the beginning, you have an HTTP, this is the get command, you wanna get a web page, and you could see here that accept encoding gzip, so it's basically saying this web browser will accept compressed information, so com compressed data. So gzip compressed or deflate, it'll accept, it can, it can accept it gzipped or it can deflate compressed data. And then when we look at, let's see here, here's the file that was sent. The content type was a JPEG. So it was compressed, but it's an image. So it's JPEG compressed image file. But that's the presentation layer right there in action. Um, and in a way, right here, the presentation layer, what kind of encoding will it take? So it's all the application. It's all, you know, the web browser and web server, but part of that communication is what's, what format is the data gonna take? And then what calls are going to basically establish that session, maintain it, and then also terminate.